Welcome back to What Arty Nibs for General Disturbance. This is a GW Panther, the Tier 7 German SPG. It's located on the Assault Team on Karelia Assault and it's under the command of the Armoured Professor. Now he's got a 15cm gun which he's raising quite high as he's going up that slope. Reload time of 23.3 seconds and he can do seven, uh, 680, sorry not 700, 680 hit points alpha, penetration 39 millimeters and it'll do a burst radius of 7.6 meters. Built on the hull of a Panther tank, or well, in fact actually I think it's more of a VK3002M, he's making his way up onto the hill and now selecting some targets. Oh, we've got to tell him how to scroll so he not so he doesn't have to scroll we can if you use the technique of actually clicking on your control key and then oh he's got a kill straight off he killed the crusader with his first shot yes getting back to the method to actually aim at the target straight off what you do is hold down your control key move your cursor over the mini map and then you right click on the mouse on the spot you want to see and that's where the view will take you straight away so you don't have to scroll it out now he's looking in the corner where the Crusader was located and there's a Super Hellcat up there somewhere and an AMD, AMD 178B and an Easy 8 as well. And he's just waiting for one of his teammates to spot them. I think that's an AMD uh, on his own team there. Well, the wreck of one at least. Over in the south west corner we can see a VK301 p German medium. Oh, it's switching targets. Going for the T3485M. He fires around him, but the guy pulls back. Now, he managed to get 79 hit points, but I think he actually hit somebody else there. And yes, he did. He hit the T28HTC, and the T3485 took some damage at the same time from the splash. So he got a two for there. I wonder why there was no explosion. I think he hit the T28, that's why there was no explosion. And it was just the splash that we saw on the T20, uh, T34. Okay, so he's focusing for the moment on this southwest corner. Aiming for the VK301P. Almost ready to shoot. Rounds out. Yep, that was a good hit. In fact, he hit two there because I'm pretty sure that the um, T28 took the brunt of the hit. 244 hit points and then the VK suffered 147. So I think he's actually earned a lot more damage now than has actually been recorded. Going for the Peter. In fact, he decides not to fire and aims in get instead for the T28 HTC again. And gets a hit on his rear. He's changing position again. Now, it's not advisable to knock trees down on the horseshoe because it might indicate to the enemy where they should look on the horseshoe for an RT tracer. Going for the T28 HTC again. He's pulling back because he's low on hit points. Wait for it now. Rounds out. Yeah, got the kill. So, two kills now. Some enemy heavies have been spotted up in the north. Oh, he spotted that as well straight away. Again, he's scrolling it out. Try that little trick with the control button, Minnie Mouse. It takes a little while to get used to, but once you do, then you won't not use it in the future. And he got uh, the object 244. I mean, for the Hellcat, that's a much lightly armoured vehicle, but he's staying behind that rock. He doesn't want to take some damage. The 244 is more obvious at the moment. Rounds out. Yeah, got the kill. Three kills now. He's doing very well. Remember, it's an assault game, so it's only 10 minutes long, and, well, they've already had 5 minutes 20 seconds, or rather, they've had 4 minutes 40 seconds, rather, they've got 5 minutes 20 left. Rounds out on the P43 tur, he actually splashes in for 85, but it does help, because the team are now moving up on that Peter. 
Okay, over on this corner. We can't see the Super Hellcat. Oh, we can. At last, he's actually popped out. That uh, Jagdpanzer IV is pulling back. He might be able to get around into the corner, but he instead he actually decides to go for the AMD who dies. So he's now switching his aim to the Super Hellcat. Nice, easy shot right into his rear here. Now, if he can just dial in in time. Almost ready. Rounds out. Yeah, nice. Easy shot, those on the Super Hellcats. They got very light armor. Any shell hitting that armor is more than likely going to go straight through and wreck them. So that's a penetrating shot, that one. T29's in cover, so we can't do anything about that. But our Super Hellcat might be able to get behind him and start forcing him out of that position. Okay, there's T71 down to the south, but he's going after the Jagdpanzer IV because he's out in the open now. And I don't think he really cares. He really is in a very bad position there. And he's been damaged. So that's another kill. Five kills now. He could be on for a top gun if he gets another one. There's only five enemies remaining. There's three minutes, 42 seconds left on the clock. He still can't get a shot on that T29 unless he backs up a little more. Or is he going to pull forward? It'd be nice if he pulled forward. Don't go straight into the shot as well. No, I think he needs to make a move. Enemy RT, let's have a look. The T-3485 is headed for the back of the map. And now he's looking in that area. That's it. There's one of them. Crusader lining up a shot. T-3485M's going to probably have a go. Oh, kill. That's a top gun. He got it. And our T-3485 was killed by the T-29 firing back at him but we didn't see the other RTs or the other RT it's an M44 so that makes me think that he's actually on the north side so that's where he's looking looking for Tracer any indication the KV-85 is moving in there's only three left on the enemy team now a Nashorn T29 and that M44 if only we can find them there's the Nashorn okay go for it be nice if he could get that kill as well he's lining it up rounds out 240 hit points and the kill goes to the uh, challenger and the m44 is engaging the kb85 face to face and it looks like he went past him and well basically we have control of the cap area now the m44 is dead the t29 on our team killed him so it's just this t29 left to kill the challenger's gone in to try and kill him face to face we fire around in and potentially that's a high caliber but he did actually hit the challenger by mistake and let's see if he actually does get that high caliber after all because he might have been disqualified now after hitting the challenger if you hit one of your own teammates, even by accident, sometimes that disqualifies you from getting the high caliber. And that's the end of the game. So let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tanker for Armour Professor in the GW Panther. He managed to get a Bruiser Medal for getting at least 5 critical hits. In fact, he got 16. He got a Gauze Medal for doing more damage than 8 times the hit points. I know it says 10 there, but in the wiki it says 8. 8 times the hit points of his own vehicle. And he got a Top Gun for getting at least 6 kills. But sadly, no, he didn't get the high caliber because he did hit the Challenger. And yes, that's something as RT players you need to be aware of. If you fire around in there and you actually hit your own teammate with that round you could disqualify yourself from getting a high caliber in a game and i've seen so many people who've only picked up a gauze medal not got the high caliber that should be going with it and the reason is because they actually did some team damage and they didn't realize it but uh, there you go let's have a look at team score well, he did get the highest damage in the game. 2,969 hit points of damage. He easily got the high damage. And 1,895 to the T29. And the next high score after that was the AMX 13 F3 on his team with 1,516 hit points. When it came to kills, he got the highest amount of those. The next highest scorer only had two kills, so one third of his score. And when it came to base XP, he's easily scored the highest. 1,190 
889 to the AMX 13 F3, 885 to the KB85. He fired 14 rounds, got 9 direct hits and 3 penetrations, 13 splash, damage of 2,969 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters, damaged 11 of the enemy, killed 6, and did 1,217 hit points of stun assist off 10 stuns. On a premium count, he earned 34,015 credits, and after ammunition respy, took away 35,343 credits. He received 1,190 XP, times 2 on this occasion, to... Um, Take away 3,570 experience points altogether. So, yes, it was a good game, but for that last shot on the uh, trying to get the T29, the challenger was right in front of him. He took the shell instead of the T29 and took away your high caliber medal. But even so, you did get a, a high caliber and you, uh, you did get the top gun, the battle hero, and you did get the epic medal in the form of the Gauze medal. So, well done to the armored professor. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel, please. And thank you for watching.